Jordan. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Thanks so much for chatting with me. Um, so I'll dive right in. I know Kevin from work. It's a new comedy. It premiered in August on ABC Family. And the fall finale is Wednesday the 7th, right? Yes, yeah, it's Wednesday. Awesome. So what, Tomorrow. what can we expect, if you're able to say anything, in this fall finale? And are there more episodes coming? Um, we have not been told one way or another. We hope, but, you know. Right. They're uh, waiting till this airs, maybe. Um, but what you can expect, um, I was actually surprised they paired the two episodes together because last episode is, like, it's very moving and shocking. So I think a lot of people are going to be really surprised by how the season is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we, I can't wait to find out. Um, so what drew you to this project, kind of looking backward? What what was it about this show in particular? Um, I just loved the comedy of it. I loved the writing. I thought it was really intelligent, and it spoke to people my age in a very intelligent kind of way. Um, and my character was just, I couldn't not want to play that character. It's so much fun. Yeah, um, and you originally auditioned for Audrey, right? Yeah, I originally auditioned for Audrey, and it was one of those, like, oh, here I go, auditioning for the, like, beautiful love interest, serial, and I'm like, this is not me. And, uh, at, like, halfway through the audition, the cast director was just like, you know, I think there's another part that would suit you better. And um, so I just pulled read it and just, like, immediately connected with it. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you could describe Roxy in three words... I mean, I, I can think of some, but how would you describe her? Um, I would say carefree. She's uh, spontaneous and very fashionable. Yeah, definitely. And she's super sassy, but she for sure has kind of this caring, um, nurturing part yeah. to her as well. You know? <laughs> what? Is that she means well, you know? Yeah, yeah. And she's you know, wants to stick up for her brother when she can. And um, there's more depth to her than people might initially think, I would say. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So the series is written, created, and produced by Barbie Adler, who's well known for her work on How I Met Your Mother and Arrested Development. What's it like working with her? I mean, she's incredible. And um, the really unique thing about her is that she lets us all have such a voice in these characters um, from the time we auditioned for it. She just knew immediately that like we were the right ones for the characters and um, has written so much of us into them. But, I mean, nothing beats her writing. I mean, I'm such a fan of hers to begin with. Those are like two of my favorite shows, How I Met Your Mother and Rest Development. So I think that's what drew me to the writing as well. Right. But she's hands-on, always on set. I mean, I, we really could have asked for a better showrunner. That's so great to hear. So you do have a bit of a role, if needed, in the say of your character development? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, they really take what we what we suggest and what we have. And um, a lot of the things that end up in the final cut are improv, which is great because there's not a lot of shows that are uh, willing to, like, let their actors do that. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I don't hear about that like, much. She recognized... And Mickey recognized that it was, like, very crucial to our characters and our relationships, and I don't know, it worked. That's so rad. So I know you have you have experience acting in a, in a variety of genres. Um, do you have a preference, or are you kind of just up for anything? I mean, I'm usually up for anything, but right now I'm really enjoying comedy. Okay. I've just reached a point in my life where everything's too serious, and it's the one thing that makes me happy, you know? That's awesome. Yeah, so it's something you have more fun with nowadays. Um, okay, and I read that you love writing screenplays. Are those just for fun, or do you have plans to pursue those? Um, I just really finished the one that I want to make. Okay. Um, well, there's two, actually. I wrote one with my mom, uh, which is a more of a comedy, and then I wrote a drama that I'm really going to, like, push to make. Um but, you know, it, it's been hard because we've been filming so much. I haven't had a lot of time to focus on that sort of thing. But I think, you know, now in our off time, I might 
might take that time and see what I can do. Yeah, of course. That's so cool that you can kind of explore all these different facets of the industry. That's awesome. Um, yeah, why not? Yeah. That's what it's there for. I'm sorry, what? I said that's what it's there for. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I also read um, that you have, that you often contemplate getting your next tattoo. So, wondering what's your favorite tattoo that you already have? Um... I, I have a, a bull skull on my forearm um, that I got. I filmed this alien movie in, it hasn't come out yet, but I filmed it in, like, New Mexico and Arizona. And I'm originally from El Paso, Texas, mm-hmm. and I was just reminded so much of home that I was, like, I was just, like, drawn to getting this tattoo. So it's, like, one of my more recent, but it's definitely probably my favorite one. Cool, Yeah. So do you get a, I, I read that you're from Texas. Do you get to make it back home quite a bit, or? I just got back from there yesterday, actually. Oh, nice. Um, I just, I go as often as I can. Like I said, my schedule's been kind of crazy lately, but it's whatever time for this. I mean, I love to go with my yeah. family and, you know. Way cool. Visit everyone. Yeah. I lived in Dallas-Fort Worth for a bit, so I, I get the Texas appeal. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you could star on any show or be a repeat role on any show, what would it be? And you can choose a couple if it's hard to pick. Okay. Hmm. Um, could it be a show that's off the air? Um, it could be anything on air. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me think. Um, God, all my favorite shows ended. <laughs> um, how about this? Uh, what's your favorite, a couple favorite shows that you love to binge watch, if you have time, ever? Um, oh, Breaking Bad was obviously one of the top. Um, Time Met Your Mother I went through probably three times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, there's so many great shows. That's what I love right now. Is like TV's kind of taken over, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like Mad Men, Breaking Bad, all those shows have like more of a cinematic feel than most movies these days. Rad. Okay, and you hinted at this a little bit, but you have a couple projects coming up, I think, in post-production. Is that right? Yeah. Can you, I mean, I'm sure you can't say a ton, but can, what can you share with us about those, or when can we expect them, or? Um, so, yeah, um, there, the couple that I, I'm really excited about, um, they're editing because they have a ton of special effects one of which being a movie called Higher Power um, that I filmed probably two years ago, but it's it's a really incredible movie, and I just so badly want it to come out. Um, and it's a little, like, supernatural kind of cool. phenomenon film. And then False Memory Syndrome is the one that I just filmed, which is an alien movie that uh, also has a ton of special effects, um, which I think will probably something will be happening with sooner than later so awesome so we should keep we'll see yeah we'll look for those and finally where can your fans find you on social media like what are your handles for the different um channels oh it's jordan danger on twitter on instagram i'm jordan danger perfect well thanks jordan so much uh we appreciate it and we're looking forward to tomorrow and all the best Thank you so much. Great to meet you. Yeah, have a great evening.